Hi everyone, it's Anne. Welcome to my new channel, Anne Moments. It's an alternative channel to the main channel, Moments 5808. I created, I created it as a backup channel and also as an alternative channel. Uh, since the main channel, 5808, is covering a lot of the convoy events and most of the people that initially tune in to that channel was more interested in the convoy events so I wanted to have a backup channel number one and number two, also to have an alternative channel to share other, other things, other moments with uh, people who are interested. So, of course, it's a brand new channel, so I cannot go live yet. I literally just started the channel yesterday, Sunday. Today is Monday. Today is Monday, uh, April 11th, 2022, 4-11-22. Wow, very synchronistic. I didn't real, realize that. Today is 4 one one 4 April 11th, 2022, Monday. So what we're looking at, or what you're looking at, is the uh, scenic overlook here in Frederick, Maryland. I had shown this uh, scenic overlook before on my other channel, Moments 5808, but last time I stood further back. Today I actually went over and walked towards the edge of it so you can actually see the highway and if you're familiar with the US convoy this is the uh, highway 270 that they uh, came down when they came down from Hagerstown to Washington DC when they did their rolling convoy uh, they were stationed in Hagerstown Speedway racetrack and then daily they would go from Hagerstown down to DC and around the loop and this is the highway 270 that they would uh, go up and down on so I mentioned that in the other video I did on my channel moments 5808 but you guys couldn't really see the highway because I stood so for I stood uh, so far back. I had stood further back. Let's see if we can zoom to see the mountains. See the mountains in the distance? It's beautiful. It's very bright and sunny out here. I can barely see, barely see my phone screen. So I hope this comes out okay. So this is a scenic overlook off of 270 uh, in Frederick, Maryland. Let you see. That's what's behind me. There's someone walking over there. This is a pretty cool place to sit and just watch the cars. There's a lot of 18-wheeler uh, passing by. There's one. I don't know if you can see or not. There's one. This is rush hour traffic. I think it's, what time is it? It's after 6, yeah, 5.53. So this is prime uh, rush hour traffic time. Actually, it's probably the tail end of it. Rush hour traffic probably started around 4 o'clock. 3 30 4 o'clock 
and it goes till probably about 6.30 or 7. So up at this section is pretty clear. Down further south is uh, sometimes it's bumper to bumper. But this is 270 right here that we're looking at. Get a little closer. I don't know if you can see. Zoom in. It's a nice view. Pretty nice and peaceful up here. Except for the traffic. It's a good place to watch traffic go by without being in the traffic itself. And I'm also testing out my uh, lavalier external mic. So I hope it's working and I hope it sounds good. I tested it uh, Saturday and I also tested it in the car before I, I uh, started this video. So hopefully Hopefully, it's nice and clear. So, let's go for a walk and check out the scenic overlook here. So looking behind us, Can you guys hear the chirping? The birds chirping? This would probably be nice in the fall too when the leaves turn. Although the trees doesn't have any leaves on them. Well, we're just early April, so they haven't bloomed. I guess the leaves haven't grown on them yet. It's windy. Hopefully it's not too noisy. This external mic supposedly have a uh, noise cancellation. Mmm, I smell something pretty. Like honeysuckle or something. Something smells really pretty. That's the whole 360 view. I wonder if these flowers are what I'm smelling. Something smells really, really good here. Yep, it's these. These little flower. Oh my goodness, you guys. It smells awesome, the fragrance. I don't know what these are. Oh my God, they smell awesome. They smell awesome. They're very fragrant. I don't know what this is. It's like a miniature version of hydrangea or something. Oh my God, I'm smelling it. It smells so good. It's very fragrant. I don't know what, what this is, but it smells awesome. Very fragrant. 
I smelled it like two feet away. Oh, it's beautiful. I can stand here and, and sniff forever. All right. Oh, we can see a better view of the traffic. Let's take a walk this way. So there's the view of where we came from. And there's, here's a better view of the highway. There's highway. You can see the car passing by through the trees. There's the big rig. I have new respect for uh, big rigs now when I see them on the highway. The truckers. Still some cherry blossom trees. the parking lot the birds are chirping away Pretty relaxing and peaceful up here, despite the traffic noise. It's kind of cool just watching cars go by from this from this point, from this place. The sun doesn't set till about 740. It's only six now, so it doesn't set for another hour and 40 minutes. I came out a little early, but I didn't want to come out too late because this overlook closes at dusk. So next time I'll have to time it to get here a little before the sunset and then just record the sunset and then leave right afterwards let's go take a look at this um these signs to see what it actually says So let's take a look at this together. I don't know if you guys can see or how clear it will be. History of the Monocacy River Valley. The earliest inhabitants of the Monocacy River Valley lived here about 12,000 years ago. These Native Americans lived in territorial semi-nomadic groups dependent upon hunting, fishing, and food gathering. So that's what I'm reading up there, top paragraph. When European settlers first came to Maryland, they encountered Native Americans who depended on farming and who had established villages being less reliant on hunting and gathering. River valleys such as the Monocacy provided desirable settlement areas and by the time of permanent European settlement, the Native Americans had been forced to move west. The German and British settlers 
brought with them distinctive building styles. The German tradition of stone and timber construction can still be seen in the Monocacy Valley with fine examples such as Skyferstadt, built 1736, and Frederick British settlers utilized more brick than stone in construction. The Monocacy River Valley was open for settlement in 1730 when Frederick Calvert, 6th Lord Baltimore, offered free land in the area to attract settlers. People of German descent came from Pennsylvania following the Monocacy River Valley south. English and Scot-Irish settlers came from Southern Maryland and present-day Montgomery County. Oh, so here's the Schifferstadt building. This thing right here. And this the map. Very interesting. I'm learning a little history about the state that I have lived in for so long. Cluster Spires of Frederick. So this is the church downtown Frederick. So let's see what this say. John Greenleaf Whittier immortalized Barbara Fritchie and the town of Frederick in his poem about the elderly Frederick resident who supposedly displayed the Union flag as Southern soldiers marched by on September 10, 1862. On July 9, 1864, Confederate General Jubal Early held up the town. We are going to make a demand upon the banks of Frederick for $200,000, and if the demand is granted, very good. If not, Frederick will be reduced to ashes. Wow. In the same poem, Whittier described the town and the surrounding valley and the surrounding valley. Up from the meadows, rich with corn, clear in the cool September morn, the cluster spires of Frederick stand, green wall by the hills of Maryland. Round about them, orchards sweep, apple and peach tree fruits, fruit it deep. Fair as the garden of the Lord, John Greenleaf Whittier. Confederate soldiers marching through Frederick. Wow. Wow, this is really interesting. I never knew. Look at that. Letter to General Early. So this is a copy of the letter to General Early. And the mayor, Alderman, and Common Council, Frederick borrowed the money from the five local banks and the town was spared. Wow! The final payment on the loans was made in 1951. Wow! So I learned a little bit more about Frederick, Maryland. All right, so let's see what's over here. I hope you guys aren't getting bored, but this is for the history buff who may find this interesting and I just wanted to do a video first video on my channel so that there's a video on there and uh, I figure it will be a little bit more interesting than just staring at the mountain although some of you may just w want to stare at the mountain okay so the battle that saved Washington I think I read this last time the battle of Monocacy took place on July 9th 1864 in the valley before you. The battle pitted north against south and Washington DC was the prize. Yeah, I read this last time when I did my first live on Ant Moments 5808. Richmond and Petersburg were endangered, but the Southern leader General Robert E. Lee has sent General Early North to threaten Washington DC at the least to force the Union commander at Richmond, Lieutenant General Ulysses S. Grant, to send soldiers back to defend the capital. So here's Major General Lou Wallace on the left, and Lieutenant General Jubel Early, CSA, on the right. So here they are. The Battle of... Ah! Oh, it got caught. Sorry. Sorry about that. My uh, mic wire got caught, so it snagged. 
The Battle of Monocacy was fought on Saturday, July 9, 1864. The Union forces were heavily outnumbered, about 18,000 to 6,000. Union General Wallace gave battle to delay the Southern forces until Northern reinforcements could reach Washington, D.C. The fighting started in mid-morning and continued throughout the day. It was late afternoon when Southern troops and battle lines streamed out of the woods on Brooks Hill, broke the Northern line, and forced Wallace's small force back toward Baltimore. The way to Washington was open, but it was too late. General Grant summed up the importance of the valley, valiant effort by the outnumbered Northerners. They met the enemy and, as might have been expected, were defeated, but they succeeded in stopping him for the day on which the battle took place. If Early had been put one day earlier, he might have entered the capital before the arrival of the reinforcement I had sent. Interesting. So that's a little history for you, for those history buffs. So the sun is not as strong now as when I first arrived. But I don't think I can stay for another hour. Today is mild. It's not too cold. There's a little breeze. It's cool, but not cold. So let's walk this way. I guess the view is probably better on this side. Probably better on this side. It's gorgeous. So we'll walk down here. Let's see what time is it? Six eleven. Six one one. Six one one on four one one. There's not much to this scenic overlook. It's just that little section. That's the 270 highway there. And that's the exit to come up. There's a car coming up now. You just come up and there's this small little parking space. There is a picnic table right there. And that's pretty much it. So not too much to it. It's just that little small section where you oh, take a look at the mountains. That's really nice. Oh, this will be a beautiful sunset, I think, tonight. Look at that. It's starting to look pretty already. I see some people sitting in their cars. I wonder if they're waiting for the sunset. Yeah, the sun is definitely less strong than when I first arrived. I can see my screen a little bit better. That's really pretty right there.
See those people, they're walking towards the edge where I was. They're walking towards where I started when I first started this video. I was out over the, there towards the edge of the grass. All right, guys, I think that's about it. There's not much left to show here. But it is very nice and peaceful. So just wanted to say hi. Welcome everyone to my new channel, backup slash alternative channel to the uh, to the main channel of Moments 5808. This is uh, Ann Moments. So I combine my name and moments. So basically it will be all the moments of Ann's. Ann's moments. All of Ann's special moments. Hopefully we'll make many, many, many happy, fun, good moments in the near future. So with that, I will sign out for now and look out for more video coming from me on this channel. I'm going to take my time on this channel and pace it so I'm not going to uh, probably not go as fast as Moments 5808. Moments 5808, I need it to get up and running to live stream the convoy in real time. This one, I'll pace it and take my time. And uh, whoever shows up, shows up. So I hope you guys enjoy the scenic view today. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to the channel. Hope you stay for a while and gain some valuable insights. And enjoy uh, from future contents. Wishing you all the best until next time. Love and light. Ciao.